Vanessa says, hi Jess, I'm sure you have this in another video, but would you mind talking about emotion versus feelings and how do each affect our vibration? Okay, yeah, I actually have um, a YouTube video and it's called, I think, um, Emotions versus Feelings. So I'll explain it again because, you know, always circling back and explaining things in a different way is, is also a good tool. So you have to understand that you are both electric and electromagnetic, okay? Electricity moves through and illuminates and activates potential, okay? Electromagnetic energy, it, it causes kind of like this kind of a, a tourist effect where it's bringing energy in and it's pushing energy out and it's bringing energy in. So you could look at part of you as a moving current and part of you as a living magnet, okay? So when we're looking at emotion, energy in motion, that's going to be the electrical side of your current. That's going to be your energy moving with you. So when you're angry, if you let inner anger go, it will move in and out of you. Okay. If you are frustrated, you know, if you let that frustration move in, it'll move in and out of you. Right. Energy in motion, emotion. So feelings is when inner emotion is judged very important i don't think i've said it this way before we probably should put this on youtube so when emotion is judged it becomes a feeling so it's almost like if energy was moving along and i stopped it and i went hmm how do i feel about this anger i feel that you are making me angry now I have a feeling and the brain is going to determine from my emotion, a judgment, and it's going to tell my body who I am. It's going to say, okay, body, we have an emotion of anger and we feel about it that so-and-so is making us mad. So the whole body now says danger, danger, stay away from that person. And it becomes a feeling that therefore is electromagnetic. Now, let me show you how law of attraction works with this, okay? So if you look at children, they have emotions all day and they're not judging it. They're mad, they're sad, they're punching their brother, they love their brother, they hug their brother. And the reason why is because I studied my son for this first seven year cycle like a hawk, like everything he did. And I watched him spend lots of time in all different emotions all day long, judging none of them and feeling no way about it which means his brother at one years old took his toy away. He looked at his brother, punched his brother in the face, got his toy back, walked over to his brother, hugged his brother, all in the same one minute. No feelings, no attachments, no judgment. Reaction, letting, emotion, energy move through his body all day long. Well, then mommy, daddy, you know, school, church, whatever, started saying, don't do that. Don't feel that. Don't say that. And we began to interrupt interrupt his emotion so now emotion that was designed to come in and out through life experience is now being like uh pushed against the wall boom the energy is being pushed so now very quickly in less than about one billionth of a second the brain takes the emotion decides what it means for the body creates a feeling attached to it and now that little boy is saying i can't be angry because i'm a bad boy and now i have a feeling electromagnetically that I'm a bad boy and because I'm in resistance of being a bad boy I'm going to create a big electromagnetic charge and now I'm going to create through law of attraction lots of opportunities for people to tell me I am a bad boy because everything is muted consciousness okay really glad you asked this question again because I don't think I've taught it this way before so if we would let the motion go it would move in and out of us like a stream of electricity, you know, lighting your lamp in the corner of the room. But when we have a feeling, we have interrupted the emotion. We have stopped it. We have shoved it back into the body. It's like, it's like, it's almost like feeling is like, okay, I'm going to stop this anger right here and I'm going to decide what it means. Okay. I'm going to decide what this means. I'm going to push it back into the body. It's going to go to the brain. The brain is going to decide what it means. It means that you're mean to me, that you take my power away, that you don't love me. Now I'm going to 
how the whole body through chemicals or what we call hormones, and hormones is how the brain basically and the body communicate. That's how they stay in coherence is through hormones. And now you're feeling very low because you originally just had anger moving through you and then someone decided that you, that or that you decided because you've been practicing long enough that you shouldn't be angry or that it's so-and-so's fault that you're angry or why are you getting angry? Now you've put a judgment. So a judgment is like what we would call a wall. So if you just did the vision quest with me, the vision quest workshop that I have on my website, you'll notice how I had you guys build all your walls. So every wall that's been built first started with a judgment, okay? Whether you were wrong or right or good or bad for feeling the way you felt and it was obviously wrong, so you built a wall to basically keep yourself a good person and a protected person, so you kept building walls. So every wall you built in Vision Quest, aka is a judgment. A judgment formulated with an emotion, an energy motion becomes a feeling. A feeling is what the brain says we are. I'm feeling sick. Okay. I'm feeling hurt. I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling, you know, uh, misunderstood. But what the emotion actually was could have been anger or um, just, just grief or, um, you know, a, it could have been a mystery. It could have been a question mark. But because it was stopped in its tracks and judged, it had to become something else. And so you could look at emotion as vibration, like waves moving, right? And feeling is like a frequency. It's like a radio station. It's like, so vibration is moving. And frequency is a pattern of vibration locked in judgment or thought or belief. So when I say raise your vibration, what I mean is raise your vibration out of anger into joy and then change your frequency, which is the con chronic state of your vibration, right, that filters together to create a reality. So vibration is the energy. Frequency is the accumulation of the energy that you've been putting out that creates your physical reality through electromagnetic charge. So you see that at its at its basic state, emotion is just part of your humanity. And feeling is the ide identification through an egoic separation spectrum we call judgment to determine what the emotion means. Now, every time I've seen someone with this ease, Every time I've seen someone who is in a very toxic relationship, anytime I've seen someone who is very hard on themselves or very unloving toward themselves, when I look into their field, I see so much trapped emotion, you know, anger stuck in the liver, loss stuck in the chest, in the lungs, you know, um, uh, humiliation in the throat, you know, um, doubt in the head, you know, like so much pain in the lower body. And so these emotions tend to gravitate towards what they are the most like, which means that 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 your lower vibrations are going to be a vibrational match to your lower chakra systems. OK, and so it's going you're going to find it held within your body. And then you go see the practitioner and the practitioner helps you move out of that emotion. Right. Helps alter the feeling, the frequency of the physical body, puts you in a new state of being going back to our first question and then gives you this blank slate. So that you now can be completely brand new and and feel your emotions. I mean, even in our teacher training class yesterday, I had one of our beautiful uh, teacher students share a very big success story about her, her season of healing that she just went through. And she began to cry and, and she stopped herself and she said, Jess, can you help me not cry? And I said, why would you want to not cry? You know, your vulnerability is your strength. Letting that in, um, energy move up and out of you, you'll notice that if you actually allow and stop repressing that emotion and let it move through you, it will empower you. And then as it empowers you, you will return back to your zero point. And if, as soon as she just kind of let herself go into whatever emotion she was feeling as she was sharing her story, 
it passed very quickly. But in the beginning, you could see her pushing it back. Like, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry in front of everybody. I want to be strong, right? So you've got to say, oh, that feeling is a layer of judgment. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense.